Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are again going to talk about the props types. I mean the, the props we are passing how to define the types for them and we are going to write a simple application. So we are going to use this question array for that. So we have question array and we are going to define question type for it. So this question array we can say uh, what we want in the simple react application is we just wanted to render them that's it and we will try to see how we are defining the type for the props in the react functional component okay so what we can do is we can define the type uh, question type and this question type is having id as a number we have question as a type string and we have answer as type string okay and this question type we can specify here these questions are of question type array okay so these are all our questions which we are exporting from here now what we are going to do here is let's go to app dot tsx and here we are going to render our component first of all uh, we can just import whatever is needed like import react from react and questions now here we are going to define our component first of all we are going to read all the questions in form of an array so let's create a component const application okay what this component will be doing it is not receiving anything in the props it is just iterating on to these questions so we are returning uh, this we are returning this tag the sx and inside this we will iterate on to this array okay so what we are doing here is we have the questions which contains the array of all the questions questions dot map and this is how we do it and here we are accessing each and every question and this is the callback so what we are doing okay so what it is returning it is going to render another component so we can simply say this is returning this and it is going to access another component question and here we are passing two property question which is nothing but q dot now there is no type defined for it right what we can do is we can use a question type right this question is of question type so each and every item is also of type question type q dot question type so and we can import it q dot question type from questions are we exporting it here we can also export it export type question type and we can import it we imported it now we are passing two things q dot question now this there is no any problem right because we are defined using proper types and for answer we are again using q dot answer and there is another property key which is q dot id okay now we just need to create build this component because it is not able to find question let's create another component called question and this question will is receiving something in the props so we have to define all of these till now we were defining it like okay there is a props coming There is a props coming and we are trying to access them but now things have changed since we discussed it right how we are defining the props we are creating a custom type for it type is question props right which we have seen in the the last video and here we are saying that you are passing question as of type string and answer as of type string and then you can use this as a props 
there are many ways of writing it like this. So this props is of type question props. And here you can access it. So what we are doing here is you are returning something like this. So we are accessing the props questions. If I just keep it simple. And I have this and I'm trying to access two properties, which is question and answer. And you can access them using props dot question and props dot answer. Right. So what are the other ways? So this we already know, like this is how we do it. Once we are done, we can do export default application. This is the root component. Now, so this is the question. Question is receiving of type question props. There are other ways of doing it. I mean, you can also define react functional component. There are the ways like you can write react.fc. What it is saying, this is a shorthand of the functional component. And here you can define the generic types. And the types is, okay, this is receiving question props. This is a functional component and it is receiving question props then you don't need to specify question props here. It automatically, it is setting that props are type of question props. And same way we are accessing those props, props.question, props.answer. Or you can specify the whole thing. Okay, question is of type string here instead of creating a type, but that is like, that is not the advised way. I mean, this is not what is suggested because your properties can be n number of properties. So it's better to create a new type. Okay. So this is another way react.functional component or we can just go to our old way react.props and this is of question props, right? Or you can say I have two properties here. If I don't want you to access it using props dot something like that. I can destructure this question and we have answer. Right. This is also of type uh, question props. We can remove the props here and the additional dots. So this is just another way of doing it. Here we are getting the, the destructured question and the answer property. And this object is still of type question props. Okay, so these are the different ways. Now, if you wanted to import or use hooks in the same example, how we can do it? We can, like I want to have a toggle property where I can show and hide the answer, right? Like, like there is a button which will say, okay, toggle. And based on that only we are want to show and hide. So this is hidden set hidden is a property and this is react dot use state and this is also of some type right use state we will initialize with some type and i'm doing it for boolean and by default it is initialized with true okay it's a problem here now you can see hidden is of type boolean and set hidden Okay, um, now you can see the set hidden. The type definition for set hidden is react.dispatch. React.dispatch, react.setState. This is the type of this. And this hidden is simply a Boolean. So like whenever you wanted to click on to this, then it will just toggle this particular property. We can write a simply on click method here. Like uh, I'm not writing any styling and all. I just wanted to add a on click. So in, in an on click, we can simply say that whenever you click on to this, we will just set hidden and we will just toggle the property. Set hidden, whatever the current property we have hidden, we'll just toggle that. Okay, so this is how you can use hooks that, that we will talk about, but this is how you can define the types. Prop types or you can use react.fc, 
This is how you can define the props. That means now you don't need to define the prop types which we were using in the earlier version of React. Prop types and just setting the question as required, answer as required. Now you can define the required and optional using question marks. Right, if you are putting question mark, that means option is an option, question is an optional property. You may receive or, or you may not. Okay, so this is about this example. Uh, thanks everyone. In the next few, couple of videos, we will talk more examples about, uh, let's say, React Router, React Redux. There are a lot of examples we are going to cover, like covering all different kind of hooks with the TypeScript.